Thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial. This training is going to focus on the tagging system within PhoneBurner. Before we start talking about tagging and how you can use it, let's talk about what it is first. A tag is simply an identifier that you can add to your contacts or group of contacts to help you find or sort or organize those contacts. So let's talk about tags. First let's click on contacts and over on the right hand side you're going to see a little gear wheel. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on manage tags. On this page you're going to see a list of all of the tags that are currently in your account as well as the ability to add an additional tag. At this point I'm going to show you how to add a couple tags to the system. So I'm going to click on the add a tag button. Here at PhoneBurner when we're making calls and reaching out to prospects one thing that we're looking for is we want to know the type of contact this may be, whether or not it's an individual user or an enterprise user. If it's an enterprise user where they're looking for multiple seats, we might want to tag them with enterprise. So I'm going to go ahead and create an enterprise tag. Once the tag is created, you're going to see it in your list of tags, and it's going to be marked as new so it's easy to find. Once you've got some tags created, you'll see a little icon to the left of each of the tags. You'll notice that a couple of them look different. If you click on the little icon to the left of the tag, you'll see a menu pop up where you can change the color of the tag. You can also change the icon. You may want to find an icon that helps you better visually identify these tags. For example, upgrading somebody from an individual account to an enterprise account might be something worthy of ringing the bell. So I'm going to select the bell icon and then I'm going to close this. So now you'll see that this icon has now changed to a yellow bell. Now that we've created a new tag from the Manage Tags page and we've talked about the little icons, now let's talk about how you might use this on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're going to go back to Contacts. Now one way you can add tags or remove tags from a contact is when you click on the contact's name, you're going to see any tags that are currently assigned to that contact right up here in the upper left hand portion of the contact details. If you want to remove a tag, you just click on the little X next to that tag. If you want to add a tag, you just click in the box for the tag section. You'll see a list of all of the existing tags, so maybe this one is an enterprise tag. We select that. We can also create a new tag right here from within the contact details. So let's say not only is this contact an enterprise contact, but this is a referral. We can create a referral tag by just typing in referral and then clicking enter. And now that new tag has been created and added to our account. Now let's go back to the list of contacts again. We could also add tags to a group of contacts all at one time. So if we wanted to do this, we would just need to select the contacts we want to add the tags to. So we can select individual contacts or select a whole page. Then we go to the More button. In the drop-down menu, we're going to click on Add slash Remove Tags. And that's going to bring up the Add slash Remove Tags window. It's going to tell us how many contacts are selected. In the Add These Tags section, we can type in the tags we want to add. For example, Referral. And we could add additional ones if we wanted. We could also remove tags. So if there's a tag that we want to remove, we just can just simply start typing it and then select it. So in this particular case, I'm going to add the referral tag to all of these contacts and remove the 100 plus employees tag to these contacts if they have it. All I need to do now is click on the apply changes and now I can go in and look at these contacts and you'll see they've now been tagged with referral. Now let's go back to our list of contacts. We can also search for contacts based off the tags that are assigned to them. So we can click on the advanced search window right here. That'll bring up the advanced search options. And from here we can search for contacts that have any or all of a group of tags that we may want to select. So let's do a search for any contact that has the referral tag. We'll hit search. And that'll bring up our list of contacts that have been tagged with referral. Another cool part about the search is we can also exclude contacts based off tags they have. So if we want to find a list of all of the contacts that were referrals but have not been given a demo, we can select that. Hit search and it will give us a list. Let's actually click on Johnny Test and let's add the demo tag to his details. And now let's go back. You'll notice that now Johnny Test no longer shows up in our search because he no longer qualifies. Why? Because we have asked the system in this particular case not to include any contacts that have the demo tag. If we were to remove this option and do the search again, Johnny Test comes back up.
Now that we've really gone over a lot of the details of tags, let's talk about how to use tagging in a dial session. So I'm going to go ahead and select some contacts and begin a dial session. Okay, so I've gone ahead and jumped into a dial session. I've got a contact pulled up here. So let's talk about how to work with tags when you're in a dial session. You'll see the tag window over here on the left hand side right up above your notes window. You'll see any tags that the contact is currently a part of and you can edit these tags while you've got this contact record up. So let's say while you're talking to them you realize you know what they're not they're not actually an enterprise contact. So you could remove that tag. If you want to add additional tags you can either select from one of your existing tags or you can also create a tag on the fly. For example we have a lot of realtors that use phone burner. While I'm talking to this contact, I may realize that they're actually a realtor. So I could create a realtor tag. You type in the tag, hit enter, and the system will create that tag. And that's how easy it is to really update and manage your tags while in a dial session. Now let's go ahead and jump out of the dial session again. Before we wrap up this training, let's go back to the manage tags page. Once again, here we'll be able to see a list of all of our tags that are in our account including the new ones that we just created today. If you want to change the color and or icon for any of your tags you can do that here. For example I may want to take the Realtor tag and change the icon to be a home and change the color to blue. So now I've got a few of these updated I'm gonna go back to contacts and when you're looking at a list of contacts that have tags and you're displaying tags in the grid here you'll see those icons with the colors and that will help you identify those contacts when you're just looking at a list of contacts and that's an overview of the tagging feature I think it provides a lot of organizational value to you I hope you'll use it and happy dialing